Good morning and welcome to Mrs. Bell's Sweet Treats and more. This is my YouTube channel and we are here in New England and we are in the real winter. We are still in, uh, in mild weather. We've had a really mild winter, um, but I'm still thinking about spring and about raspberries. So I am going to make a quick and simple it's going to be cream cheese and raspberries and yada, yada, yada. Click on the link and you'll get the ingredients. But this time it's going to be fun because you get to choose which berry you want to use. I'm using raspberries, but you can definitely use strawberries on this or you can use um, blackberries. I am using raspberries and I had some Smucker's uh, red raspberry jam left over so i'm going to make this into one of my quick 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 ones welcome to mrs bell's sweet treats and more to all of my new subscribers to my older subscribers and those that are just scrolling i hope your day is going well and you get to make this or pass it on or if you don't like it come back and see something else check my website there are plenty of recipes there are savory meals and there are goodies just you know you get to choose so today I'm going to start, I'm going to take my cream cheese and it's room temperature, so it's really soft. And I'm going to just whip it for a little bit. I don't, I actually like cream cheese chunks, but I don't want it in my pie. This is going to be a quick version. It is not a bake. There are no eggs in it. Just a quick uh, put together and it's delicious. You can, you know, I've made it with uh, limes. I've made it with uh, strawberries. I've made it with pineapple. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm just going to put this in here and I'm going to beat it up and then we'll be back. So I've whipped up my cream cheese. I'm going to probably, I'm going to add sugar to this, just regular granulated sugar. And I'm going to let it stir together for a little bit. And then I'm going to add my other stuff. Be right back. So here's my cream cheese. You can see with the uh, cream cheese with the sugar. And now I'm going to add, I have a True Whip. You can use Cool Whip. You can use whipped cream. I'm using True Whip. And I used eight ounces of cream cheese. So I'm, this comes as a nine ounce. I'm not going to use it all because I don't want, um, I want to taste my, my um, cream cheese. So I'm not going to use it all. And I'm just going to stir it in. See, I've saved some of that. Very low just to get it uh, incorporated. And I'll be right back. So now I want you to see what I have here. And they're all whipped together. And I'm going to take this. I have a small graham cracker crust. You can absolutely make your own. I choose to buy this because I look for quicker, easier ways. The flavor of the homemade is much richer and deeper, but you know, sometimes we don't have a lot of time and we have to do what we do with what we have. So I'm just gonna mesh this in. And I have a smaller um, pie, pie pan. I didn't get a very large one because the person I'm making it for did, didn't want a big one because they were eating it alone. The person I'm making it for is for moi. And I'm gonna take some of this. You can see some of this on here. This will actually be dessert later for that other person, you know. Okay. Now, this is kind of the fun part. I'm using raspberries, uh, raspberry jam, 
And I'm just gonna dollop some on there. The raspberry jam has such a rich flavor. I was using blackberries. Blackberries are good. They don't hold the flavor like the uh, like the raspberries. And then I'm just going to take a little doohickey I have here, and I'm just going to run it through. I'm going to keep going until I get these all incorporated. I'll be right back. So I mixed it in and I have some left over that I warmed up. And I'm just going to drizzle it over. Well, actually, I'm going to line up my raspberries. So I got some raspberries from the supermarket. You don't have to have the raspberries. I just think they're a cool touch. And I've rinsed them. It's always important to rinse your veggies and fruits. Um, so I'm gonna just line these up and then I'll be back. And I've got my raspberries on and I'm going to take I got some of that jam and I put it in the microwave to make it liquid, more liquid. And then I'm just gonna drizzle this on top of my sitting raspberries. Just a little dollops. There we are. And I'm going to put it in the, I'm going to put mine in the fridge. You can let it set a few hours. If you put it in the freezer, it only takes about half an hour, 45 minutes or so to get a little hard, a little more firm. I'm going to put this up and then we'll be back. So here's our pie. I took it out of the freezer. I'm gonna cut a piece. Really easy, really easy. I remember the first time I made it, I was a little nervous. There we go. And I didn't let it set too long because I wanted to cut it and let you see. Pie. And you could set it longer. I just set it for about 30 minutes in the freezer. Mm. Together, we can do this. I hope you get to make it. If you use another berry, let us know but it is an easy, easy pie. You have a good one and enjoy. Talk soon.